Well, good morning. Kevin Sloan here with the joy of trucking. I'm driving for Winter Enterprises and uh, had a little problem yesterday. Um, warning light on the instrument panel looked like a little outline of an engine uh, in orange. So I looked in the uh, manual, it said emissions system warning. Uh, paragraph after that said uh, uh, the truck will not be disabled but it does require service and I'm assuming by emissions they mean it has to do with the exhaust system probably the def system for treating the exhaust so I uh, finished the load I was delivering last night and got to a safe haven and called in to the company and they said go ahead and do a maintenance request and specify that the truck is still drivable that way they don't send a repair truck out to where I am at considerable expense or even a tow truck uh, and they replied uh, with my request saying that they had contacted a Kenworth dealer nearby and I had an appointment to go the next morning so here I am I arrived at seven o'clock when they opened dropped my empty trailer in the parking lot and handed them the keys and right now it's in the service bay so they've got their diagnostic computer hooked up and they're going to tell me pretty soon what's wrong. If it's a simple fix, I'll be out of here pretty quick. If it requires some parts or, or major work, I'm going to be here a couple of days because they're backlogged right now. So let's go in and find out what the story is. Just spoke to the service guy. They have the truck in there with uh, the computer hooked up. The diagnostics say it's a bad knock sensor. And they're looking now to see if they have the part in stock in which case they'll install it right away and I'll be out of here in a couple more hours. So let's cross our fingers. In the meantime, I'm in the driver's lounge here at the dealership. It's set up pretty nice. Look at these chairs. You got the big screen TV. You got Wi-Fi in here. You got coffee and a fridge and a microwave and vending machines. And what does that sign say up there? Laundry and showers? It's set up like a truck stop. All the luxuries of Love's Travel Service Center. All right, I'm gonna kick back in a chair here, and chill for a while, and see what they say. Still sitting here at the dealership. Uh, the problem right now is the uh, lack of available parts. This knock sensor is a rare item these days because of the recent microchip shortage. Uh, it's four in the afternoon. The service manager says he's been trying all day to find the part uh, And no such luck. So it might be Friday before I get out of here. That's two days of sitting in this parking lot twiddling my thumbs So I just put in a call to my fleet manager And he's gonna send an email to the service department to see if they maybe have one somewhere It's my thinking that you know with all the all the service departments at all the different terminals Maybe they keep some parts in stock you might be able to might be able to get one for me it might be that I could even drive to a terminal and get the work done I mean this is I believe this is a warranty issue it should be done at a at a dealership but uh, me sitting here for two days isn't making anybody any money so let's see what happens let's see if my manager comes through or the service guy here comes through but I'm definitely gonna be here tonight I've uh, been here at this Kenworth dealership for two days now and still waiting on a knock sensor to show up. They have not located the part yet. So I informed the company this morning and they decided to put me in a hotel room since I've been sleeping here in the parking lot for the last two nights. Uh, which doesn't bother me. I got everything I need on the truck. All I needed was a bathroom and they have that inside here. But uh, yeah, set me up at a at a nice hotel. I was going to go over there this afternoon and check in since the weekend's here and the part's not here yet. Uh, seems like the best idea. And uh, half an hour later, I get a another message saying proceed to the terminal uh, about two hours away for another truck assignment. So instead of having me sit here indefinitely and wait for a part, I'm going to get a new truck and get back to work. Uh, Sounds like another message coming through now. So I just got to wait until I'm cleared from the service desk here, make sure the bill is paid and everything, and then I'm going to get on the road. 
see what kind of truck I get next. I sure hope it's a Kenworth, because that's my favorite. Okay, next chapter. Hooked up my trailer. I was about to head out to the terminal. Checked in with the service desk one more time. And lo and behold, the part is on the way. Should be here within the hour. And they will put it in right away and get me going again so I can get back to work. So as you see behind me, the guy's working on it right out here in the parking lot. So I went in and ate my lunch and came back out here and checked it out. Looks like it's going good. So if all goes well, I'll be out of here probably in another hour or so. So good news, I get to keep my truck. And I'll be back to work. Yay! And now for the conclusion to our happy, happy story of the truck repair. It's uh, about 10 after 5 on Friday afternoon. Um, the repair was finished at 3 o'clock. They installed the knock sensor and test ran it for quite a while. Uh, but at 3 o'clock, they sent a request to the company for a purchase order. And it took another two hours to get that. So it's been a long and boring day waiting for this to get done. But now it's over. I'm sitting in my truck waiting for my my load to come through on the tablet here and I'll be off and running again. So thanks for watching. I hope this was informative or at least entertaining in some way. Um, yeah, all good to go. I'm very happy about that. And I didn't have to give up my truck. I got her all fixed. And one more thing, I did come away with a little souvenir of this experience, the official Kenworth keychain fob. Yeah. All right. I'll never forget my wonderful time here at the Kenworth dealer. Okay, that's it. So, like it, subscribe, and if you have a comment, leave it down below, and we'll see you next time. Be safe out there.